the key um, information, the, the key economic data that we're going to be looking at for tomorrow is really going to centre around Japan. Of course, Abenomics is premised on, on trying to drive aggregate demand, trying to pick up uh, growth and nominal growth and ultimately increase inflation. Uh, so therefore, I guess we've got to look at inflation numbers tomorrow. And, and, and while the market's looking for 2.9%, if you look at the national numbers ex food, if you extrapolate out the April sales tax hike, then you're looking for about 0.9 of a percent. Now, we saw a Bank of Japan member speaking yesterday saying that there are risks it could be below 1%, and that would seem to be in line with where the market is. So, as again, we're looking for about 90 basis points of inflation, or 0.9 of a percent, and that inflation number over the last four or five months has been trending lower. So, it certainly wouldn't surprise me if we got a one, below 1% 1 number. So, I think if we get below 0.9 of a percent, then the yen will sell off fairly significantly because we know the Bank of Japan now have open ended quantitative easing going on. We know that they can increase the amount of JB, JGBs they're going to buy. And certainly if we get a weaker than expected number, you'd expect the market to try and ramp up their expectations around that. Elsewhere, um, New Zealand build, building permits, I don't expect them to have a huge impact on, on the Kiwi dollar, to be fair. Korean industrial production numbers are going to be widely looked for if you're looking at trading the, uh, the, 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 the Kospi or, or the Korean one. But certainly the big one tomorrow is really what's going to happen in Japan. Of course, how energy plays uh, take on after the OPEC meeting tonight.